The Holy Tales. Hello, everyone. My friends and I are back to hear a new story from the Bible. Come, let's go to Holy. Hello, kids. So, what is the story you're going to tell us today, Holy? Today, I'm going to tell you a story about what happened when Paul and Silas were put in the prison. What? They were arrested? Oh no! Come, let's find out what happens in the story. One day, Paul and Silas saw a girl who had an evil spirit living inside her body. She was a fortune teller, and the people who owned her earned a lot of money through the fortunes she would tell about the people who came to her. When the girl saw Paul and Silas, she started shouting, "These men are servants of God, and they are here to tell you how to be saved." She went on doing this day after day until Paul got tired of it and spoke to the evil spirit living in her. I command you to come out of this little girl in the name of Jesus Christ. Immediately, the spirit left the girl, but her owners were very unhappy about it. They went around saying bad things about Paul and Silas, and soon the people were against them. A mob gathered around them, and the city officials ordered them to be beaten with wooden rods. Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. And the jailer was ordered to make sure that they could not escape in any way. He took them to the deepest and darkest part of the prison and locked their feet in stocks. At midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns in the name of God's glory. All the other prisoners in the jail were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake. And the prison gates broke open, and the chains holding every prisoner fell to the ground. The jailer woke up when he felt the earthquake and rushed in and found the prison gates open. He thought that the prisoners had escaped, so he took out the sword to kill himself. Wait! Do not hurt yourself! Paul shouted. We are all here. Every prisoner is still here. The jailer was terrified and was shaking with fear. He ran to the cell where Paul was and fell down to his knees and cried, "What must I do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved." Paul said. Paul and Silas explained the whole gospel message to him, and that very night, the jailer and his entire family started believing in Jesus. And they were baptized immediately. The jailer brought Paul and Silas to his own home and gave them food. The next morning, the city officials sent word to the jailer that Paul and Silas should be set free. He told them, "You are free to go." But Paul said, "Wait a minute! The officials publicly beat us and put us in jail, and we are Roman citizens." Now, why do they want us to leave quietly? We want them to come in person and tell us to go. The city officials were afraid to hear that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens. They came to the prison, apologized to them, and begged them to leave the city. <laughs> the city officials should have known that earlier. Of course, they would be in trouble. After all, Paul and Silas are servants of God, as the girl had said. Yes, but if they had known, there wouldn't be any story, right? Yep, that's true. You can now ask us the question, Holy. Today's question is: Paul and Silas were citizens of which country? Rome. They were Roman citizens. Excellent, Gumbo. 
hope you got it right too. Until then, bye bye. We'll be back soon. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep.